The human papillomavirus is the most common sexually transmitted virus in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, at least 50% of sexually active people will have HPV at some point in their lives. While some believe the HPV vaccine will make sure you never contract the virus, the truth is that's not entirely true. Well, first of all, HPV is extremely common, and um, there are a lot of reports giving numbers from anywhere from 70 to 90 percent of people have been exposed to HPV. So if you've been sexually active, even if you only have one partner, if that partner had one other partner, chances are you were exposed to HPV. Dr. Wazicki says there are more than 100 strands of HPV. The most common strands are 16 and 18, which the HPV vaccine protects against. In terms of those two strains, is 100% effective. <laughs> but unfortunately, there are more strains than that. The virus is the leading cause of cervical cancer, responsible for 70 to 80% of all cases. Dr. Wazicki says since the vaccine doesn't cover all types of the virus, regular screenings are important. But the thing to remember about HPV and the vaccine is, uh, you know, like I said, it does um, cover about 70% of the viral strains that cause cervical cancer. However, that does leave 30% and there are over 100 types of HPV. So even if you get the vaccine, you still should go for screening. There are new recommendations out for who should be vaccinated. So they used to just target girls, which I think sent a confusing message that you know, this was um, maybe something that was more important for people who are promiscuous or who are going to, you know, and it's really not. It's for, it's everybody. It is now recommended that boys and girls both get vaccinated. The vaccination consists of three shots over a span of a couple months. It's suggested that boys and girls as young as nine years old get the vaccine. It is a vaccine that truly prevents cancer and people should be getting it. Um, and now they recommend that both girls and boys uh, get it starting at, you know, as early as age nine.